Good day everybody, my name is Gareth. Today I'm going to take you on the adventure of a lifetime all across the UK. England, Scotland, Wales. This is going to be a new video series that I'll be posting roughly every week, so stay tuned for that guys. Me and my mum ended up going to England recently and it was an absolutely incredible trip. One of the amazing things that we actually did on the trip was a 10 day Cosmos bus tour from London, England, all the way to the very top of the UK, Scotland, to see the Loch Ness Monster himself, back down to Wales, and then of course back to London again. It was a 10 day trip. Guys and girls, this is gonna be an extremely detailed film, stopping at many different cities all along the way on our trip. So let's start from my home location of Sydney, Australia. Let's go to England right now and explore this place like you've never seen before. Follow me, here we go. On the Cosmos bus, bus. We go on the Cosmos bus. Bye bye, Nervous Hill. Bye bye, London. Has seat belts apparently. Yeah. Here we go. First off the bus. We just made it to Anne Hathaway's house. No, not the movie star. <laughs> this is William Shakespeare's wife's house, Anne Hathaway. Basically, that's where she lived. Anne Hathaway was 29 years old when she married William Shakespeare. He was only 18 years old at the time, so. Risqué, risqué. But we're on a bus tour at the moment, so we gotta go back on the bus. We've only been here for like five minutes, and it's pissing down around anyway, so let's get the fuck out of here. Right there, guys. Right there is where the man himself used to live. Of course, William Shakespeare used to live here at one point or another. How cool is this? We're in Stratford upon Avon. To be or not to be? Now that's the question. 
and only me go double chick. <laughs> I think I might be a little bit too tall for this doorway. Mind your head, it's kind of an understatement that one. I think I might be a little bit too tall for this place. <laughs> okay, so I'm in Stratford upon Avon right now. William Shakespeare's house is behind me. Anne Hathaway's house, the woman who he married, Anne Hathaway, she, her house is a couple blocks that way. May I go in? But right here. Of course you can. How you going? Hey, how are you doing? I see it on YouTube. YouTube. Tall boy Gareth. To I'm gonna you have to write get it down. down. He's gonna write it down. But right here, right now, I've just found the Mechanical Art and Design Museum. Let's go and have a look. Come on. Stratford upon Avon even has a Ferris wheel. I've been to three different cities so far. I've been to three different cities that has Ferris wheels in London. And I've been to three different cities in the UK so far that have Ferris wheels. London, Liverpool, and now Stratford. You guys have a freaking Ferris wheel obsession, I'm telling you. You guys have a Ferris wheel obsession. I'm at the Royal Shakespeare Theatre, here where Shakespeare would have done his uh, acting. We've only got about 25 minutes left until we get the bus back. Looks like we're on a bus tour, a coach tour right now, so we need to get this bus, otherwise the bus literally leaves without us. We're only here in Stratford for about two hours, so... This is slippery, by the way. by Shakespeare Theatre. It's been fun. We've only been here for about five minutes and um, we have to go. Otherwise our bus leaves without us. My god, it is wet out there, but thankfully we're back on the bus and we're going to continue our travels to our next destination. Thanks Stratford upon Avon, it's been fun. Especially that museum that I went on to, the mechanical museum. How incredible was that? Hell yes. The camera's all foggy now. Well, so if you could uh, just hold tight because uh, Lee's been told to uh, move the bus gently forward, so uh, just be careful. About half an hour later, we've just made it to the city of Coventry. Here we go. That statue right there is the famous Lady Godiva who rode through the streets back in the day naked on a horse and uh, she basically told everyone look you guys can't watch me go down the street on a horse right so everyone was like yeah fine you're gonna help us lower your taxes so no one looked except for this one guy maybe his name was Tom so this Tom guy peeped over and had a look to see what she looked like because she's the queen right she's on a horse you know naked so basically that's where the saying comes from peeping Tom and on the hour, every hour, there's a little depiction with the clock there, and I'll show you in a second. Peeping Tong peeps over. Yeah. <laughs> Body locals must be like, oh, look at these tourists standing in the rain, looking at a clock, waiting for it to go tick, tick, tick. This is so funny. Everyone's waiting. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Maybe not working today. <laughs> How embarrassing. We're all lucky today. Okay, so it's gone past the hour and the clock is not working. What? What? Everybody around is waiting to see this thing and it's not working. Everyone's standing in the rain. It's not working. It's not working. I've got my umbrella down and I'm, and I'm super wet right now. What the hell? Coventry. Coventry, what the hell? Your peeping Tom clock is not working. I'll try and find some footage on the internet for you guys and then I'll just throw that into it, okay? This is what it looks like. I tried, hey. Our church was actually bombed in World War II and it was basically set on fire with the bombs but the actual structure itself is pretty good. So there's no interior but the outside's pretty good though. Bus trip, wow. That was a huge bus trip, wasn't it? How many hours was it? What time we leave? We left at 8, was it? 8 o'clock here, all the bus. So we left at 8, and it is now 6.45 p.m. There was like four different stops. Two were petrol stations for piss stops. And the other two were the ones you saw. My God. Hi, Leeds. This is Leeds. We're Leeds, aren't we? Yeah. Hi Leeds. Look, there's there's some oh, little hedgehogs. mounds. Hedgehogs. Yeah. Possible hedgehogs there. We should be able to have a look at it. Even got a nice looking pool and spa over there. I don't think I'll be using it, but nice place though. Yeah. Alright, so we're at our hotel for tonight now. This is our first night on the bus on a bus tour in Leeds here in England. And the dinner table's having our free dinner for tonight with the bus company. And we're the only two people here playing with these. Got the fidget spinner. Fidget Common spinner. spinner. Common spinner. <laughs> fidget spinner. <laughs> we're a part of the, officially part of the fidget spinner craze. Mm. Looks like something else, doesn't it? My goodness. <clears throat> Tasty. Oh my god, look what just arrived. <laughs> oh, shit. What a high that is. What a high. William Shakespeare's house, just chilling out. William Shakespeare's house is behind us. How'd that happen? Wow, that's William Shakespeare's house behind us. How cool is that? You've got the weirdest little poses. <laughs> it's been a long day and it's time for a drink, let's face it. Boom! Bottle of Jack. How does that Kesha song go? Brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack? Something like that. Bottle of Jack! There it is. Yummy, 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 yummy. Oh my god, I just spilled some. Can't take me to a hotel room for five minutes and I'm already spilling drinks all over the uh, sheets. Oh, Far out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tasty.
take that, you lazy maids. <laughs> take that.